I think we got him. Oh. That was a big one. Oh, that is a decent pass. What's up, YouTube? Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is September 14th. You guys really seem to be liking all these creek fishing videos, so I have another one here for you today. We're about to head down to the creek, and we're going to freaking smack them. We're going to catch a lot of fish today. I'm only going to be throwing one lure. Curly tail grub should be a good episode, so stay tuned. At any point in time, you guys like the content, scroll down below. Hit the thumbs up button. Helps me out and the fish like it as well. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel, do that too. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. Ah, new part of the creek. We are not gonna discriminate today. Whatever we catch is what we're gonna catch. We're gonna be happy with it. Not gonna complain if I catch too many sunfish. Chances are, I'll probably catch quite a few of them. Let's see what we can muster up. First cast. There's a bass following my line in. Over here, there he goes. He got it. There we go, first fish of the day. First species, oh. Well, he got back in the water. He's fine. But there we go, it's one fish. Like I said, we aren't complaining about size. I'm gonna be happy with whatever we catch. Well, there's plenty to explore here today. Should be a good episode, guys. Let's keep trekking. See what else is around here. Never been to this part of the creek before. Oh, I've never fished it. Let's see if there's anything in this pocket. Oh, there was second fish of the day. He almost got me. And there's roots down there. I think this will probably be the last fish from this spot. It is a nasty green sunfish. Here we go. Second fish, second species. Didn't get to show you the first one, but we got a great view of this one with those awesome fall colors. Beautiful fish, green sunfish. Species number two. The jig will literally last us all day if I don't break it off. We're gonna see how long one curly tail grub will last us. There's a whole bunch of holes in these waders. Even in this shallow little water, I'm probably gonna get a little wet. Oh, this part of the creek's really shallow. All right, after walking a little bit, looks like we might have finally found something pretty decent to fish. It's a little deeper than some of the other spots. We are way upstream from the portion of the Wissahickon that most people fish. It is actually really shallow up here. Oh, we got a red breast sunfish. Third fish, third species of the day. There we go. It looks like there's a little bass hanging out over here. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, I think we got him. Yep. There we go. Another fish for the day. Oh, feisty little guy. See you, dude. We are stirring up some trouble here in the creek. Oh, looks like there's another little bass over there too. Let's see if I can get this one. Oh, I think he's got it. Oh, he had it, he had it. Oh, he stole our tail. Oh, no, wait, no, he didn't. He just got it caught up on our hook. I don't know if he'll eat again. There he is. We got him. There we go, another bass. Hold up, dude. You guys are so feisty around here, can't really show you to the camera. Oh, damn, dude, these little bass are freaking feisty. There we go, what is that, fourth fish? I'm losing track already. I'm gonna leave this little pocket alone. Let's keep moving. Look at this, once again, the Wissahickon splits and forks. I don't know if you guys saw it right at the beginning of the video, but the creek actually split into three different forks. So each one of these forks is pretty shallow. I don't know, maybe we should turn back around. I don't think we're going to. 
see many things in this pool. Looks like there's nothing but a bunch of creek chubs over there. Oh, except for this one bass. It's probably eating all those creek chubs. There you go. Man, this is real pretty bass. Look at that guy. Might be a spot. Bit of a broken pattern. Let's check him out. Oh, nope, just a largey. Just a very pretty largemouth bass. See it, dude. Man, I have no idea how many fish we've caught so far. It's a nice little breeze today. It's keeping all the bugs off me. I haven't had to put on bug spray yet. Knock on wood. But that's always nice. Whoa, almost busting my head. There we go. There's a largey. See if we can get another one from the same pool. Oh, that was a big one. Oh man, that was a nice one. Got him. It's probably the biggest one that was in this little pool. Not very big at all. I will take him. Another largey. This one's face is a little strange looking. See you, dude. Thanks for getting me all muddy. Looks like that's it for this hole. I'm gonna leave those fish alone. But if you can see here, it's pretty cool. All those bass were just in this little pocket here, this little deeper area slack water even though this water here is you know not even an inch deep they all just went to this little area good spot for them to forage for minnows other small fish that wash in there let's keep trekking oh what do we have here another green sunfish Go, let go. There he goes. Little green sunfish. Little guy. Oh boy. Well, I just caught two real decent ones off camera. Unfortunately, I, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But there's still more fish to be caught. Yeah, it's certainly a shame I wasn't recording. Hopefully, we'll catch some bigger bass than those ones anyway. It's all right. Just keep moving. There we go. This isn't a bad fish. It's a little chunky Fall Creek bass. Not very big, of course, but a nice little fight. I'm gonna head back up the creek. I'll see you guys where we started out this adventure. Let's go head upstream. Back to where we started today's adventure. The rest of the creek downstream was just super shallow. Actually ran through a golf course, so I wasn't trying to deal with all that, getting a whole bunch of awkward looks from golfers. Anyway, we have a whole stretch upstream to hit. So let's do that too. Back here again, a couple casts, see if anything will come out. And let's keep on fishing. Oh, what do we got? red breast sunfish like i said oh man dropping so many fish today i'm not going to discriminate but that looks like it might be it for this grub it's a little dinged up at this point but man what was that about 10 15 fish something like that two decent bass off camera you guys missed them so that's about what you can get from these about 10 15 fish before they're a little too dinged up to use anymore well, after a brief little intermission there, we are once again hitting up the creek. It's time upstream. Oh man, there's a nice little bass out there, but of course, I 
catch a red breast sunfish. Species of fish I'm least excited to see. Ooh, something right away. It's a nice, oh man, it was a decent little bass. Oh, that is a decent bass. That is a nice bass for the Wissahickon. Oh man, don't let this fish come off. Man, that is a nice large mouth for the Wissahickon. There we go. Dang, guys. Look at this bass on the little curly tail grub. That is a nice bass for the Wissahickon Creek. I'm gonna snap a photo of you, dude. This isn't a giant bass. This is the nicest bass I've caught from the Wissahickon Creek quite some time. See ya, dude. Thank you. Thank you for coming out of the shallows. That was sick, guys. Let's catch some more. I feel like it was our lucky day with that big bass. I haven't caught a decent bass like that from the Wissahickon in a couple years. Actually, I, maybe I did. I think I caught one last year that was pretty decent. Anyway. I see some aggressive sunfish down there. I was trying to wheel it past them, but I figured why not just catch them. Get them out of the way. There it is. Red breast sunfish. Well, guys, it is starting to get a little late. We have a few obligations later tonight. So I won't be able to fish all day. I'm just looking for at least one or two more big pools. I want to try to catch another decent bass. That one that I caught was so satisfying. Oh, this pool looks really good. There might be some more bass in this. Yeah, look at this pool, guys. Does this look fishy or what? Probably another decent largie out there. Oh, oh it wasn't largie. But we'll take a red breast any day, apparently. I don't have a choice, really. Oh, man. Oh, we got something on here. Hit it like a freight train. What the heck? Oh, it's another little bass. It's not a bad one compared to some of the other ones we caught today. Couldn't even hold them. Didn't want to drop them on the ground, knock them out. This is a decent spot, guys. Got to be more than that hanging around. Oh, oh man, I had him. Another largey. Yeah, this spot is sick, guys. Digging this. Oh, we had him on there. There we go, there's something. That's a big red breast. Feisty guy. Oh man, he's stealing our grub. No, give it back. Oh man, he's swallowing it. Dude. Don't you know that's fake? I'm about to give it to you if you don't give it back. There we go. Jeez Louise. That might be it for this hole. Oh, it wasn't. There we go. Another hungry largie. Look at this guy. Like a little bullet on his tail pinched like that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look at that. Oh, you got it right in the eye too. Oh, poor little bass. And there's a lot of little bass up here. 
little babies. Here we go, there's another bass. Dang. Catching a lot of bass for the Wissahickon Creek. Here we go, there's another. Man, this guy smoked it. Oh, look at that. It's not a bass. Freaking gigantic creek chub. Look at this ugly fish. Slime bucket. That's pretty cool. That might have been the last big hurrah for this creek, guys. Look at how shallow it is. This is the Wissahickon. Look at this thing. Looks like a freaking stream. Ah, oh, man. A couple decent bass out there. These panfish are going to blow my cover. Dang it. And he just ripped off my tail. Well, everybody, I think that's going to wrap it up for us here today. We traveled quite some way up and down the Wissahickon Creek. Caught a whole bunch of different fish, a whole bunch of different species. One of the things I like the most about creek fishing is that, you know, maybe you don't go out and catch a giant fish, but you do go out there and just catch a ton of fish, ton of different species, all different shapes and sizes. It's always fun, always a good time when I go out creek fishing. Just a real fun day out here on the creek. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point you did, scroll down below, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel, do that too. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Till next time guys, keep on fishing.